Hey guys, this is JNM with a new Blender video on how to add animations caused by wind to a low poly tree. Let's select and duplicate this one here and move it to a new layer. Then I set the location to the center and perhaps move it a bit downwards. Ok, now I press Shift and A key to add a single bone, also at the center, and I enable X-Ray for it, so that we can see it through the tree. After that I switch to Edit Mode, select the bone's tail and move it upwards, like this. Then I select the whole bone, and press W to subdivide it two times. Now I have four bones, and I move these two bones downwards and Subdivide the third bone again, and I think we can go with that. So we have the armature and then I go back to object mode, select the tree model first, after that also the bones and then I press Ctrl and P, and choose with automatic weights. Now this armature is the parent and we can select it, switch to pose mode and when we rotate a bone it affects the model. Ok, this works, but I undo this now, and then I open a new window, and select the dope sheet for it, and here I use the action editor. I add a new action, this will be our animation, and I call it wind. Ok, now I selected all the bones in pose mode and hide the properties panel on the right side. And here at the bottom you can see that I selected location and rotation and automatic keyframe insertion. This means whenever I move or rotate a bone, a keyframe will be inserted, but for the first frame I press the I key with all bones selected to add a keyframe for all bones to the first frame, and the animation length I set to 150 frames. Then I select the last frame, frame 150, and also insert here a keyframe by pressing the I key, and I do this because we are creating a looping animation with the same start and end frame. Nice, and now I go ahead and select some bones and add very small rotations for various frames, but I add them really slightly and carefully to make it look smooth and not too exaggerated. And this is all you have to do, this is the basic technique. I suggest play around with this approach, test out which kind of rotations and variations look good and natural. I speed this up now here a little bit, because this is all the same technique. Ok, and once you're done or you want to test your modifications, you could press the H key to hide the bones, so that they don't disturb while watching the animation. You can unhide the bones again, by the way, by pressing the ALT and H key. And that's it for the wind effect, in the next part I will show you how to export and use this in Unity and my free low poly game kit. If you want to support the asset and this channel, please think about being my patron, this would really help a lot. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you soon here on JNM.